train your engineers for multi-cloud? Now, this is a question that I get asked often. Hey, Eli, can I have the same team, the same group of engineers manage multiple clouds, manage AWS and Azure and Google? My answer is, it depends. If we're talking about infrastructure and operations engineers, if we're talking about security engineers, then I would say yes. Now, the bigger the environment, the more likely it is that you might have siloed teams for different cloud providers. But in general, I would say, yeah, if you've got an environment where you've got AWS, Azure, and Google, your INO and security folks should be able to manage them with relative ease. Uh, the services are essentially the same. The um, architectures are similar. So, you know, AWS has VPC, Azure has VNet. Um, AWS has Elastic Load Balancer, um, Azure has multiple uh, load balancers. Um, Route 53, Traffic Manager. These things are very, very similar. So if someone is really seasoned on AWS and you drop them on Azure, it'll take them a couple of hours, but they'll figure out the environment with relative ease. But if you're doing this in a strategic manner, if you want a best practice, then my best practice to you is train your engineers on the primary cloud provider first, and even if you haven't operationalized your second cloud provider, begin by training your users on that second cloud provider, which is why it is important to identify that second cloud provider, even if you don't intend on operationalizing that second cloud provider today. That takes us back to what we were talking about earlier, which is the importance of identifying that secondary cloud provider because your decisions will, will be impacted by doing that. So. Can the same group of engineers manage multiple clouds? I would say absolutely yes. As the environment grows, you may or may not silo. It'll really depend on the workload, the complexity, and, and what's going on. But most organizations should start with the same group of engineers. Now, if we're talking about developers, that's a different conversation. Developers, in almost all cases, you're going to have different teams for different cloud providers. That's understandable. You've got different APIs, you've got different programming languages, you've got, it's just a different environment. So I would say for INO, for security professionals, yes. For developers, you're looking at silo teams from the get-go.